Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix, and guys, welcome to the first video with my new microphone. It's about time. No longer with the Blue Yeti being far away, we got some higher quality, but let's get right into this. So this video, we're gonna be talking specifically about the only thing that holds Brawlhalla back. I like to do a lot of thinking, and it's something that, like, I'm a game programmer, I like to compare games, and it's something I see from other games that I don't see from Brawl. Let's get right into this with the vague stuff. Um, so yeah, Brawlhalla, but I'm playing ranked. Brawlhalla does not target their game competitively at all, dude. I, um, I thought of this video, I was out at the store, and, um, uh, we were talking to some people that, like, um, were at a computer store, and we asked, like, oh, do you know what Brawlhalla is? Just kind of curious, like, how many people know Brawl? And they knew what Brawlhalla was. And we were getting a computer. And they were like, you're playing... You're buying an RTX 3060 for Brawlhalla? And, like, when we were talking more about them, they all thought it was a casual game. There's a big misconception in Brawlhalla that... Brawlhalla is a casual game only. There's some people that I talk to that don't even know that Brawlhalla is a rank system, okay? I swear to God, these guys didn't think that there was a competitive scene for Brawl at all. What I want to talk about is the what what's the difference between Brawlhalla's competitive scene and a game like Valorant, really? And it's not how the competitive scenes are organized. That's not really what we're talking about. It's how the game is designed around their competitive scene. And I think this is something that really holds Brawlhalla back is all their casual game modes on Brawlhalla, they target them like their ca actual casual game modes. They aren't, the, the gameplay isn't around competitive. Like Valorant, it's casual queue has competitive settings, right? All of it's competitive. There's no casual maps, really nothing. The only thing that isn't really competitive is like Spike Rush or Deathmatch, but they all are designed around competitive. Spike Rush is like a mini competitive game. The casual queue is just competitive, but you get to practice for fun. And then the Deathmatch, they made it so you can leave the game uh, without getting penalized in Valorant. But it's designed as a warm-up session for competitive. And it's the only game mode that you don't get penalized pen penalized for leaving. And that's because it's a warm-up session. All its casual game modes are around competitive. It's about going pro in competitive, right? Brawl, it's completely different. All of its casual game modes are around unique game modes. For example, we got 1v1 Strikeout, Experimental, Friendly 2s. It's doesn't have team damage on so it's its own game mode with its own settings 1v1s is literally like why do we have strike out and experimental 1v1s but not a casual 1v1 for ranked basically like just ranked maps but just casual 1v1 it is ridiculous and that game des design decision that BMG made to target Brawlhalla more of a casual game, it's the same decision that like a game almost like Fortnite does, but even Fortnite, it's like they, they knew that they needed a competitive and then their solos is like a mimic of competitive basically, but obviously with some twists. The reason Brawlhalla doesn't have a very big competitive scene is because the game is not designed in a way that want that makes players want to play this game competitive. Do you know when the most people play this game? I remember Matt Wimmer was talking about it. Most people play Brawlhalla when Fortnite servers are down. Honestly, this was like back in 2018. People play the game as a substitute just to do something fun. They make custom games. There's all these game modes and these mini games. It's really fun and whatnot. And I'm not debating if Brawlhalla is a fun game. It is objectively fun because a lot of people play it and enjoy it, myself included. But... The competitive scene, the YouTube scene, doesn't have many viewers because the game is not designed in a way that makes players want to seek that kind of thing out. It's like, it's no different why I don't watch Subway Surfers, YouTubers, or like, I don't watch the Subway Surfers competitive scene. It's because the game doesn't make me want to search it up. I play the game for fun on iOS, and then that's, that's all there is. I just play it for fun. And it's very similar to Brawlhalla in that regard. It's casual only 
Yes, Brawlhalla is esports, but it doesn't do anything around its esports that's actually in the game. We've been talked about it. We, we've heard stuff for so long about, oh, there's going to be in-game tournament counters or like the esports menu. And like, yes, Brawlhalla has an esports menu, but do you know how difficult it's to find that esports menu? New players that play the game do not know where the esports menu is, and it's very difficult to find. It is objectively hidden. It, it is literally hidden. The only way you know where the esports menu is, is if you are wanting to get into the esports scene and someone tells you where it is. The actual UI design is atrocious beat with that, right? So if we're thinking of ways to get people into esports, here's where you have to start. You need to make the casual queues strictly just 1v1s like normal. Get people playing the game mode that esports was designed around. People, this game mode is objectively fun, so I think it's ludicrous that Brahalla doesn't target its players to be playing that 1v1 game mode or 2v2 game mode more often. Friendly 2s is a bad substitute for it. There needs to be a friendly 1s and friendly 2s, and friendly 2s needs team damage on just to get people used to those game modes. And then when you're used to those game modes, then you go into ranked. And then that would push people if they feel like they're getting better to go into ranked and test their skill. Next thing, the esports menu needs to be visible. I would say give it its own menu icon. I'll actually show you guys the menu after this match, just to show you how hidden it, it really is. But give esports its own menu icon and just call it esports. Get people knowing if they play the game, they can make money from it. Get people into it. That would bring more traction on the esports scene. But then also in that esports menu, add a tournament hub. You can shout out the streams when they're live. You can make the menu show the streams when tournaments are live. Get people wanting to get better at this game. Design the game. And this is how, like you make the casual cues, whatever, around getting people actually interested in getting better. There's a big issue with Brawl as well, is the amount of players it's had over the years is outstanding, but the amount of players playing, like coming back, playing often as their main game is very low. A game like Valorant, people play daily because they want to grind, they want to get better. There's no reason to play Brawlhalla a week or two after update, and I think that's why its player base is also declining. Like, look at this, okay? Look at the main menu. You got play, ranked, battle pass, battle pass is casual, custom game room, KO, mania, offline, meet the legends, and store. Cool. Where is the esports menu? You don't see the esports menu unless you click on the panel on the bottom right that says spring championship doubles for na is live today and it's such a bad banner like this this banner is the same as a youtube thumbnail and a youtube thumbnail's job is to explain a video in as little words as possible or use words if you need to this banner you look at this banner it does not explain what's going on it just shows esports colors but you don't know they're esports colors you just know that there's there's cool colors and a, a a spring avatar and like a weapon skin but not nah, then you have to read the text and it's this long text and it doesn't say click here for a menu the actual ui design is atrocious why why are you able to click this but then when you click this it's like the emote but this takes you to an esports menu and this esports hub is obviously useful but like this first menu bringing you to other socials sure but why would people want to click these other socials is the real question make people want to go into these things not by giving them codes but by showing them crazy clips making pro players using pro players and their gameplay and making it entertaining people know that brawlhalla esports is entertaining but the people that don't know it's entertaining don't want to find out if it's entertaining because there's nothing that pushes the casual audience into that that scene. That's the reason why Brawlhalla Esports and the actual dedicated community, it hasn't been growing. Twitter, it grows very, very slowly compared to other scenes. All you have to do, this is all you got to do is like maybe show like a video or like have like a thumbnail that just says Brawlhalla Esports on the bottom right. And then people can click on it because it's like a menu icon or make it a menu icon on the left. Remove Meet the Legends. Put Meet the Legends in the bottom right. Who cares about Meet the Legends? Put esports under offline play and have the menu actually show a tournament. Show some highlights, show some clips right away. Get people interested, show them what they're missing, right? Get people involved. 
it's crazy that there's nothing there's, there's such a disconnect like look at look at this free for all strikeout 1v1 friendly 2v2 experimental 1v1 any new player that's playing brawl without any information is going to go into these casual it, it's just the word play they're going to want to play if they hit play they see these casual game modes right none of these game modes push you into wanting to get better these are all different than the competitive scene they ha they don't share any similarities and the closest one is experiment experimental 1v1 and it's awful it, it, it's for test features it's not the real game there's a bunch of these different changes so how about this this is what you do free for all sure if you want to keep it keep it strikeout 1v1 should be casual 1v1 friendly 2v2 should be a casual 2v2 both the same game modes as ranked ones and ranked twos Okay, no one is going to care, honestly. If the Brawlhalla devs do this change, it is not going to lower the player count. This is coming from a guy who's studying game programming. People who play this game casually are going to find 1v1 and 2v2 fun if there's a casual queue. It's ludicrous that there isn't any. And then leave experimental 1v1 because people like testing stuff. All you gotta do, free for all, 1v1, 2v2, experimental. That's it. Remove the other two game modes. Friendly 2v2 is fun, but there's no point for it being here. If anything, remove the experimental 1v1 queue and just have people test in custom lobbies and leave friendly twos if you really want to add that because it's just fun. Online. Next, ranked 1v1 switchcraft. Okay, the ranked Kung Fu and when that first came out was cool, but this is useless. No one actually plays these game modes. It's a casual ranked game mode. Are you kidding me? It's, it, it's such a stupid idea. If you're going to put time and effort into making a new queue, put all that development time putting these ranked minimums to get these rewards to get people playing. Stop getting casual players playing by giving them in-game skins and items. Introduce them to the larger community and ranked that make people want to improve. If you are a casual player, why would you want to improve at Brawlhalla when you can improve at Valorant? Why would you improve in Brawlhalla? There is nothing, absolutely nothing that makes you want to. There's such a barrier between showing them what's actually potential in esports and especially the prizing and YouTube scene and all this stuff. Rahala doesn't show it at all to the casual queue. Like this is just a rant video at this point. It is ridiculous that this game is so casual. And it's ridiculous that they're doing esports. I'm going to swear here, half-assed. It's, it's actually half-assed. This is a casual game that has some fun esports tournaments it's actually honestly worse than smash ultimate when i think of smash ultimate the only reason people play that game is for locals and tournaments okay casual game couch party is fun but the game's been out for like four years now no one's playing that game casually with friends like compared to the amount of people that play this for esports sure there are people that play the game casually but most of the time it's competitive Honestly, people play at friends' houses and whatnot. That's why a lot of kids buy the game. But the actual player base that plays it, they play it competitively. But here's the problem with Brahalla is the actual player base is all casual. It's casual. No one plays this game competitively. And then when you do, you have to do your own research. And it feels like this niche community. It is ridiculous. So I, I, I'm done complaining. Again, here are the changes. Change the game modes. Make the game modes in play just 1v1, 2v2. Please do that. Next, make the esports menu actually on the menu screen. Remove Meet the Legends. This can be in the settings. You can literally have settings and then have like Meet the Legends up here, right? It's not a big deal. Remove Meet the Legends, put esports. When you click on the esports, it pops up with this. Instead of a picture with all these people and like, oh, look how nice it is. And I'm right there on the right. Put like a trailer and get people in interested show the coolest clips show the prize pool show some of the youtube scene get people wanting to learn more then obviously there's the official community whatever then maybe have like a, a a countdown timer or like get people like like join our next tournament and then have like the smash g link i don't why would anyone want to click these socials like the amount of people the click through percentage of these these buttons is probably 0.001 like no one actually clicks these buttons to go into their discord and stuff like that 
Sure, maybe the Discord, but like the other stuff, you just search it up and whatnot. No one actually clicks it in game to find it. You just search it up. And why is Facebook added? No one uses Facebook. Your audience does not use Facebook, bro. Um, but yeah, uh, get people interested in esports. And then this is like a long term thing, but a tournaments mode would be great. It's ridiculous that the tournament mode is you competing casually in a free for all against competitors, like, like against bots. Like, have a tournament mode where it actually puts you in a real tournament of 1v1s or 2v2s and get people wanting to get better. Even Smash Ultimate has a better custom tournament mode. It doesn't even need to be online. Just something. Make casual players play this game in a more competitive way and tell them why they should. Those things that I mentioned, if Brawlhalla does those changes, we are going to see a huge spike in the competitive scene and YouTube scene. Players wanting to get better and people watching the tournaments, not watching them for the codes, really watching and cheering on their best players. Brawlhalla is a casual game first and a competitive game second, and there needs to be more of a connect between the two. If the devs are listening to this video at all, please, please, please talk about it more as a game programmer, someone who's studying game programming and an esports player for the past five years I've been in this competitive scene. There needs to be a connection between players going, hey, this game's fun. I want to get better, right? Right now, people just have fun with this game and drop it. If you create a connection, a path of gameplay, like, What's the next thing? People play this game and they play all the mini games and all their these game modes and they get a cool skin. Then they're like, okay, what else is there to do? And there's there's ranked, but there's no real connection between that casual and competitive scene. Making it easier for casual players that know nothing to be like, okay, the next step is to learn combos without a pro player telling them what to do. That That's all that needs to happen. And you can do that through UI design and whatnot. If you listen to this, thanks for watching this video. Hit that like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys all next time. New video Tuesday. I've been posting five days a week, so check them out. I'll see you guys all later. Take care.